In Drexel Hill, residents have set up fly traps around their properties after seeing clouds of flies swarming the neighborhood. They say these flies have been taking over their backyards for just about two weeks now and are turning out to be a whole lot more than just a nuisance. Axe News reporter Katie Catro spoke with the residents, joins us now live with the fly problem. And Katie, many of them say they've never seen anything quite like this before. Absolutely, Brian and neighbors are aggravated and you would be too if you came out to your porch trying to eat dinner outside and you saw this flies just swarming around people's backyards, hanging up on their fences all over the place. We saw these posts on social media, so we hit the streets of Upper Darby Township to see it for ourselves. Somebody actually called it a Delco apocalypse. <laughs> neighbors in Upper Darby Township say they can't stop hearing this sound. We've had a crazy amount of flies this summer. They're swarming into residents' yards and homes by the thousands. They were in my laundry room and on the outside of school. <laughs> so neighbors have taken matters into their own hands with these fly traps hanging in their backyards. It actually can hold up to 20,000 flies, so I'm really going to have to get a new one very soon. I just bought another fly trap. The red eyes indicate that these are common house flies and the bag traps shouldn't attract more flies than what's already flying around in your backyard, according to Philadelphia Insectarium. But they aren't sure why there are so many flies flying around in Upper Darby. You don't smell anything around here, so it's not a sore problem. Clean the trash cans. My back, my back porch has nothing except for a grill on it. Why are these flies up against my siding? Not only are the traps creating an eyesore in neighborhoods, they stink. And it's been the buzz around town for about two weeks now. I don't like them buzzing all over your head. Like, get off me, get off me. Very annoying. Um, you got to kind of keep swatting them away. Yeah, so this neighbor's backyard that we're in says she goes through a bag a day and she's got two of these bags in her backyard. She says it adds up to being around $20 that she's spending on these traps a day. We did reach out to Upper Darby Township and we have yet to hear back from them, but Brian and Sarah, I can tell you, it does smell pretty bad out here. Reporting live in Upper Darby Township, Katie Catro, Channel 6 Ugh. Action News. Yeah, wow. Gross. 20000 per bag, two bags per day. Yeah. Gross. G gross. Yeah.